this is Nancy Huber, and I'm Kate Crow. We had the, the land that Cherry Valley Farms uh, since the 1840s, and um, it's been much loved. We do workshops there. We do certification for Reiki, animal communication, um, teach different forms of healing. And the cool thing that we've been noticing is every now and then one of the ancestors will pop into the workshop and yeah the reason I got involved was because this was on sacred land this was used to be Ojibwa territory before Nancy's family bought the land in the 1840s and turned it into a, a basically the, the history of the farm until it became a spiritual site today but for me what was interesting to me as a ghost writer was the number of spirits that are at the site there are native spirits there are animal spirits there are ancestors ghosts of her ancestors there are even angels at this farm Self-publishing stories, I had been gathering synchronicity stories for years and years and years. I had them on my computer. Um, Kate said, send them to me. And then she wrote back and said, you do have a book. Mm -hmm. So she edited it. And um, I did three, three weeks of research on self-publishing or um, publishing and found that it's a real minefield. But I did find our book bindery out in Winnipeg who were absolutely awesome for me. They did the formatting for nothing. They did all kinds of wonderful stuff. And they gave the best price. Oh, bonus yeah. on that, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, it's a fascinating story. So if you do see synchronicities, uh, it's in the library. Uh, it's at the farm. Pick up a copy. It's also on Smashwords. You can download yes. it as an ebook. That's another thing. You can put ebooks on Smashwords for free uh, at the smashwords.com. Um, yeah. And then you can also download a link on Amazon, and they will print your book off if people order it as well. So. And one piece of advice you would give to aspiring story makers, I would say write things down as they occur. As they happen. Keep a journal. Because you'll forget. Yeah.